and a half million tuned in to watch Love Island last night in the most dramatic recoupling of the series. Who knows what will happen so next for Amy and Curtis after he had his head turned in Casa Amor, just as Amy was about to tell him she loved him. Oh, anyway. We've actually got our eyes on another blossom in a relationship. Tommy and Curtis's. Have a look at this. I can talk to you about anything. Yeah, I can trust person. you with anything. Same. Anything. I haven't met someone like you really before. I'm tearing up goods. You're like, you're raw. You are. What? <laughs> I mean, bro, come here. Come here, bro. Mm. <laughs> come here, bro. Come here. Oh, man. <laughs> what is for life? Oh, two male friends kissing on the lips. Now, come on. Is it time we applauded straight men who are comfortable enough to kiss each other, Cyrus? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Look, I looked at that and I thought, how sweet, how lovely. It's nice to see that. But, unfortunately, I still think there are a big section of our society that will have watched that and gone, ooh, ooh, you know, and they have that attitude, and I think it's a generational thing. Um, I think, you know, a lot of men for a long time have just thought, you know, it's quite masculine to kind of, I'm a bloke and you don't touch me and I like, you know, all that. But I think we're moving away from that, and I think many people would have seen that, though, and just thought, that's really sweet. I like those two. Well done, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. Good well, to see men comfortable with their feelings. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a, um, a message here, actually, from um, Curtis's brother, AJ, yeah. from Strictly. Um, he says, it's 2019. He can kiss Tommy on the lips. For us, it's always about being happy. You don't have to question what you've done as long as you're happy in yeah. that moment. Yeah. And their mum, uh, AJ's and Curtis's mum, Debbie, added, Curtis is comfortable enough in his sexuality to be confident in expressing himself. It doesn't ha matter how other people perceive it. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was just... I love that. Yeah, yeah. And I love the fact that now the younger generation coming up... You know, I was... It was Kira's 18th birthday at the weekend, and so it was all, you know, 18, 19-year-olds. And I loved the way the boys, especially... Girls are always tactile, but yeah. I loved watching the boys, you know, best friends yeah. hugging each other yeah. or giving each other a little peck on the cheek, and, yeah. and I thought, it's so nice. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, surely we've got past now going, ooh, what but, does that but mean? But also, I think if you're not that way inclined or you don't like it, then don't make people feel bad about yeah. doing it, you mm. know? That's absolutely fine, you know, yeah. everybody to each to their own, but don't mm. make people feel uncomfortable if they do want to show their feelings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Janet, you're quite tactile, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You out are. of the studio with you my are. friends. I'm very tactile with men and women. I have no problem about it whatsoever. I have problem with people coming up to me in the supermarkets or infringing my space on public transport. Infringing yeah. my space? Well, they're in my exclusion zone and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but I think this is really interesting because there was a survey in uh, YouGov, the polling uh, company, did a survey, I think, a couple of weeks ago uh, to sell it in line with Gay Pride Month. And they found that four out of ten people that they surveyed mm. wouldn't rule out a same-sex encounter. And that's a tremendous shift. Uh, because I think it, uh, in 2015, it was two out of ten people said that. And now it's four out of ten. So it just shows you how people in Britain, how there is a, a shift. It might just be a generational shift. Mm. But definitely people are more comfortable with saying, well, I'm attracted to whoever I'm attracted to. And then there was this other survey that said that most women who say they're straight are, in fact, aroused by videos of naked men and naked women. Women. Now, I don't think that proves that w women are basically gay. I think that, you know, if we watch naked people doing whatever, a lot of us do get turned on, yeah. and there's no harm in, in accepting and that. And how often admitting... do you watch these kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Just asking. That is Just going asking. to remain a closed <laughs> book. Just because you're sitting in that chair with your brainy glasses on. So he doesn't give you the right to turn, turn into Jerry Springer. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what? No, I, I was also going to say that, you know, um, I mean, my hubby, look, he is, he is very straight. You know, I think there is a spectrum and some people sit on this end and some people sit on that end. Oh, There's a bit of a blower are flying <laughs> everywhere. And, um, and I, 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 but as I said before, I do think it's a generational yeah, thing. I mean, we've, no, we all... No, I'm old. And yeah. I'm tactile. Yeah, no, we're not... I'm yeah. a tactile pensioner. I hug any, anyone I really, really love. I love 
my partner, all my close friends, men and women, I'd hug them, I'd kiss them. I mean, I'm not attracted to women, but I'm not going to feel bad about that. That's just the way I am. But, you know, I think you can't just say it's a generational thing. No, but I, I, think I, grew up, I grew up, I grew up. I know it is, but you're quite extraordinary and you were in, you know, you're, 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 you're <laughs> oh, an enigma. You're going to be another teacup yeah. in it, just tell me. <laughs> In that industry, yeah. didn't you? In that yeah, whole but I grew up in a house spirit. with no hugging. There's no yeah. family pictures yeah. of us but I, hugging. I, I do think there there are lots of men still out there who will have looked at that and thought, "Oh, I don't think that's right." And and I'm not. I'm just saying that that is not. That's not a right attitude or a wrong attitude. I just yeah. think people just weren't exposed to it yeah. in those times, so they didn't really know how to feel. But I okay. hope that people now can look at it. I think it's nice that they're comfortable inside. So I looked at that and I didn't think I anything it of it. I. I it, I thought, OK, they're two grabbing men. I mean, he's gorgeous and, the other, and, and Curtis is gorgeous. And they were just celebrating, they were just being bro, saying, oh, my God, this is amazing. Yeah, let's kiss. Yeah. And, and that's it. You know, don't make a big thing out of it. Let, if they're in touch with their you know what, slightly Brenda? feminine side, then I like that. Well said. Give us a kiss. Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh, my Brenda! Do you want to kiss <laughs> Tony? <Tony-tony? laughs> Give me a hug, but I want to pick that bit of bow around your head. Oh, oh, <laughs> All right. You see?